Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Alcolo, and if this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. If you would like to see how I got this super glam holiday spotlight glitter tutorial, then just keep on watching. So, to start off with, we're going to be going in with the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer, along with the Fenty Lime Primer, the Pro Filter Instant Research Primer. We're going to be going with the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer on the center of our face. This primer is excellent at blurring out any fine lines, any wrinkles, and for making sure that your makeup looks flawless and adds a nice glow to the skin. The Fenty Lime Primer I'm going to be using on the outer perimeter of my face, ensuring that my makeup stays matte and that my makeup lasts long all day. I'm going to be using the Fenty Foundations as well for this tutorial. We're going with the shades 410 and the shade 490, blending them together to get my perfect skin shade. I am a little darker in my face than in my body, so I will be blending this down my neck onto my skin and making sure that I use my Beauty Blender to really press this foundation into my skin to give myself a nice even base. To get the most flawless base possible, I will be going in with the shade 410 as my concealer shade today. This ensures a nice, smooth, and flawless finish onto my skin because this, I'm using the exact same foundation from the same line to get an even texture mixture. Working one eye at a time, I'm going to be using the concealer and a flat shader brush underneath my eye, dragging this down the sides of my nose onto my skin and blending out following with a beauty blender. This ensures a nice smooth finish and that I don't leave any patches onto my skin because this foundation does dry very quickly. I'm going to be following this onto my forehead as well in a semi-circle formation to get a nice smooth uh, transition onto my skin and down the center of my nose. This allows me to kind of build a nice bridge, a nice transition from my forehead down onto my nose. I will also be reverse contouring here today. This technique ensures that my skin is nice and chiseled, you know, may have a little extra fat hanging on there, but it ensures a nice smooth transition and that my face is nicely carved. I will be warming up my face with the Fenty foundation in the shade 490 and blending out with the Beauty Blender as well. This will, you know, carve out my face nicely because it is a nice cool toned shade please count how many times i've said nice already oh my god <laughs> however i will continue blending this out with my beauty blender and working this into my skin as quickly as i can like i said it does dry down quickly following with my ben nine neutral setting powder i love this powder it's a colorless powder and it does work nicely on every single skin tone i'm gonna try my hardest not to say nice again it works very well on every single skin tone. I'm going to be applying this on the high points of my face, the high regions of my face, underneath my eyes, along my forehead, down my chin, down the center of my nose, as well as using this along the lines of my reverse contour. I would then be following up with the Nana Coco Contouring and Highlight Kit in dark and using the deepest shade that is available in the kit to warm up my face along the outer perimeter, blending it in towards my hairline and focusing heavily on my uh, hairline and my temples, making sure that I have a nice bronze tone going along my forehead. Following up with the Ruby Kisses Chestnut Powder, this is what I'm gonna be using as my all over face powder. It's got nice golden olive undertones and this, is, this line has a wide range of shades so it does complement a lot of skin tones. I will be tweezing my brow slightly before going in with the Ruby Kisses Lime products in order to finish up my brows. I will link my brow tutorial right here so you can access that. Next, we're going to be going in with the Morphe 35R palette. I haven't used this palette in a while so I wanted to pull it out. And I'm going in with this mid-tone nice pukey brown shade <laughs> and I'm going to be going following up with something a little warmer more of a caramel brown now and I'm using this as my transition stage shades swooshing back and forth along my crease 
Next, going in with this brick brown shade, I'm going to be swooshing this back and forth as well along my crease to deepen up my transition shade and add more depth and dimension. Following this, we're going to be going in with this rich chocolate brown. I'm going to be patting this on the outer portion of my eye, really making sure I'm applying as much product as possible on the outer third of my eye and following the same technique, I'm gonna be applying this onto the inner third of my eye. We are creating a spotlight smoky eye, so we do wanna make sure that the outer third and the inner third of our eye is as pigmented as possible with whatever shades we do wanna use and creating a nice bridge in between with the transition shade. Next, we're gonna be going in with this charcoal brown. It does look a little more purpley, but it is more of a, a deep charcoal brown going to be deepening up the outer third and the inner third of my eye with this shade to add more depth more dimension more of a smokiness to the eyeshadow look following this we're going to be going in with the nyx um, concealer in nutmeg i'm going to be using this to carve out the inner portion of my eye the inner this the two thirds and i'm going to be following this with this nice bronzy shade from the it's a gold reflex shade and it's so beautiful you didn't I didn't even need to use any fix plus on my brush in order to get it this pigmented onto the lid and I'm following up with that charcoal brown in order to blend seamlessly the outer edges of the of the shadow following up I'm gonna be using this glitter shade here it's got bronzy gold reflex beautiful bronze gold reflex in it and it just complements this look so nicely I'm gonna be following up and deepening up the outer corners once more with a bit of black eyeshadow to kind of work that in and make sure that the transition is nicely blended here we go with the nicely word again is nicely blended and that the shadows do reflect this and I'm gonna be moving along with a fluffier brush to clean up the outer edges. Next, I'm going to be going with my favorite mascara, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara, it coats the lashes nicely and it does separate them ni nicely as well. Following this, I'm going to be pairing this with some wispy lashes, just popping these on onto the eye. Just dusting off some of the fallout here. Following this, I'm going to use the NYX pencil in nude, I believe. I will link everything down in the description bar. And using all the dark shades from the top lid on my bottom lid to smoke out my lash line. To smoke it out even further, here's a trick I had mentioned before. You take your, your wand, your mascara wand, and wiggle it nicely on the bottom lash line. And this creates a, a really deep smoky effect on your lower lash line. I'm just patting my skin with my all over face powder, the Ruby Kisses Chestnut Powder, and highlighting my brow bone slightly. Going in with the Ebony Bronzer, I'm adding a bit more warmth to my skin just to have more of a bronzy shade. For highlighter, I did begin with the Becca Cosmetics Topaz Cream, uh, cream Highlighter, excuse me. And I did work this into my skin. However, I felt that even though it was a beautiful shade, it was a little too olive for this look, and that wasn't what I needed. Um, I felt it was a little, it was just too, it was too olive, a little warm for me to use for this look. So I switched over to the KKW highlight powders, which I do love, and you can see here I was definitely a lot more content with the outcome of that uh, versus starting with the Becca Shamp the Becca um, highlighters. Going in with the MAC blush in Raisin, I am coating my cheeks and moving this towards my temples to kind of lift my cheeks and lift my face. And I'm going in with the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie collection. More creamer, please. I am going to work this onto my lips. And 
And then I'm going to be going in with the, For the top lip gloss as well from the collection. Lining my lips a little more with the NYX 818 lip pencil in dark brown. And then go in with the Sephora Times Pantone lip gloss. I can't remember the name right now. I will link it down in the description bar below. I'm just going in with this shade just to add more pink tones. I'm going to give myself a glow with the Tasha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist on the outer portions of my face and then following on the center of my face. I'm going to use the Max Fix Plus to make sure everything is nice and set and we get rid of any cakiness left on the skin. That is the finished look my friends. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you very much and I'll see you in my next tutorial.